What's up, guys? Eric, am I here with my custom-built Armor Outcast 6S, uh, aka Purple Power? <laughs> this this is a uh, this is a custom-built Outcast I built a couple of years ago. Uh, she's been sitting on my shelf basically as a roller um, and, and parts donor. So I finally went ahead and put her back together. Uh, this is my favorite little Outcast. Um, she's uh, pr pretty much got everything uh, M2C has to offer in it, uh, except for some uh, voltage uh, suspension blocks and hot racing diff case. I'm running stock electronics in it uh, with a 20 tooth pinion. Uh, it's pretty cool today, so I hope I can get away with a 20 tooth. I just want to be able to uh, really rip as much I speed built as it possible. Mainly for a little bit better handling and for speed. Uh, these guitars really lighten her up and make her you know, a little bit more agile. And it's crazy how much of a difference it makes putting these uh, guitar tires on it compared to like backflips or copperheads or anything like that. As far as the setup like on the truck and the diffs and stuff, I got 50,000 in the front, uh, 500,000 in the center, uh, and 30,000 in the rear. Uh, she's got brand new bearings, uh, gems bearings all throughout, uh, even in the diffs. I went through the diffs, so everything should uh, uh, hopefully hold up for me. Uh, she's a complete, complete hoot to drive, and I'm uh, anxious to get her back out. This was, you know, she was always my, my favorite little uh, ascending outcast. Um, again, she's just really lightweight and just uh, flies like a bird. So we're just going to bash around here a little bit, and then we'll do a little send session. All right, let's see what's up. Yeah, guys, I set that cone up at 100 feet because I thought she was jumping pretty far, which is uh, pretty good for an outcast. So I got the measuring tape out there too, so we'll uh, just kind of measure that just for the hell of it and see what she got. I'm not out to set a long jump record. Of course, I got 200 feet with my Typhon. I'm sure you guys have seen that. And that's, uh, again, that's 100 feet. You got 120. My measuring tape's locked, so. We'll mark it right there at 120. One forty. Sure she bounced over a little bit, so we'll just say uh we'll just say one forty five. Well, here's the 150 mark right here. She bounced over right there. So that's that's just about 150 feet for an outcast. That's not too bad. Oh, purple's killing it. She's always been my little little uh, outcast air machine. <laughs> close. Oh, 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 oh no guys see, i just totally clipped this uh <laughs> piece of steel coming out of the ground right here oh man that's not good looks like that carnister oh luckily it just pulled the uh luckily it just pulled the pillow ball out of the arm right there let me give that a quick fix that's the only thing about these construction site guys are so unpredictable <laughs>
All right, guys, that's gonna be it with old purple. It's getting late. Looks like I busted a body mount right here. <laughs> I have to get some of those on order, but anyway, she's my favorite little outcast. Uh, she flies like a bird. I uh, love running these guitars on this truck. I forgot to mention it earlier in the video, I am running the shocks at more of an angle. Um, before, with the original shock towers, I had them set to the inner hole, but I, I'm running RPM arms on here. So I just uh, set it to the outside hole on the on the arm. So it kind of gives it a little more of a, a little more of a buggy, uh, you know, Italian uh, style stance. But anyway, she was a blast. Uh, we'll hope to get back out soon, and we'll see you guys next time. RCD81, peace out.